Good morning, good morning to you, Nikki. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Okay, so today we are continuing the theme of self-care. I feel like it's been a theme that's been going on in the virtual co-working space because last night we did a, a wellness spa session where we talked about the 10 minute supercharger. Um, you can go and check that out. The replay is now in the virtual co-working space. Um, that's something that I'm like, I'm starting to really focus a little bit more in on self care right now, because for me, I had a huge kind of transition when my little, my little one year old now has sort of gone into play group with her little sister. Um, so now I have a couple of hours in the morning, which I'm dedicating to myself and I know this is quite hard to do um I used to do it really really early in the morning and um whenever I could basically I would grab the time whenever I could but I'm able to get more into a routine now and I'm actually we actually had the event directly afterwards and then uh, the virtual assistant festival, which was amazing, but that was super busy, like and super intense. So now I'm just kind of in self care mode, and self care is so important. And I've written a little statement up here for you guys. Incorporating self care into a daily routine can help. Um, can also help you establish boundaries between work and personal life. Now I really like to blend my work with my personal life, but at the end of the day, it can it can sometimes get a little bit blurred. And I do see myself sometimes maybe working a little bit more than I should, um, or not really being fully present with my kids and things like that when I when I really need to be. So for me, as, as much as I love blending my work and my life, I do also like to have boundaries where I say to myself, okay, I really need to put the work stuff down now because I have to be present uh, somewhere else. So allowing you to maintain a healthy work-life balance. This balance is essential for preventing feelings of overwhelm and ensuring that you can perform at your best when assisting clients virtually. Additionally, practicing self-care can boost your confidence, creativity and resilience, enabling you to tackle challenges with a clear and positive attitude. Prioritizing self-care as a virtual assistant is not only beneficial to your own well-being, but also for the quality of service you provide to your clients. Okay, so that's the statement for today and the... The premise is take care of yourself and it doesn't matter how short it is. We talked yesterday about something called a 10 minute supercharger paraliminal in the wellness center. It's just 10 minutes. It's an act of self care. It doesn't have to be super long. Um, and I wanted to share with you, I have an app and I, it's called Ulti Self. Okay. So um, I wanted to just basically share that I, basically move things around inside my app. I put things in there which I, which are really essential and really important to me. And then it basically prompts you and reminds you and you tick things off. It's really good. Nikki says, so well-timed. I'm on a self-care push after being unwell the last two weeks. Yeah, we've got to take care of ourselves. It's, it's so, so important. And for me too, like the last couple of weeks, it's been like so full on with work and kids, you know, and getting three kids ready for school in the morning. I mean, you know yourself, Nikki, it's, you know, there's, it just seems like this constant, like one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing. And it's like, where are you in all of that? Um, so I've got this app called Ulti Self and um, I'm really trying to commit to paying attention to this. I do my daily accountability regardless. Um, as you guys know, I'm here doing it. But for me, that's like really more about my business, my financial goals, you know, my career, my professional life. But we also need to, to have this injection of, you know, like you have to show up for that in your best form. And self-care is the only way to really make sure that happens. So with my Ulti Self app, it's really super cool. I'm able to put like my morning routine stuff in, my afternoon routine. So I've got really simple things in there, which do make a difference. You know, obviously now I'm getting to the stage where I really wanna start shifting off this baby weight um, that I've accumulated. Um, just basically having two kids back to back and being in my 40s as well, which is not ideal. Um, 
but yeah, so I've got things on there for like tracking my weight, um, my exercise that I do every day. It's not much. I do 10 minutes of rebounding every day. I'll do more if I can, but that's my minimum. You know, that's what I say is my absolute minimum that I have to accomplish. And I always make the self-care routine achievable, like, so I don't have to make excuses. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It's called Ulti Self. So like you, you've got, you can't really see on here, but you've got all the stuff here and you just kind of like um, put it on. And then when you do something, you just check, check it. And then it, it you check in as well with yourself. It's, it's just a really cool app. I love the app. Um, and you, you can put different things on there. I mean, for me, it's like rebounding for 10 minutes, doing my daily accountability, which I do. Um, I take my oil shots, so I, I do essential oil shots like turmeric and ginger and things like that from health and metabolism boosting. And if I don't use this app, I absolutely forget. Um, even things like spend 10 minutes laying in the sun, do a paraliminal, drink a cup of green tea, it's all on there. But when you do these things and you know that each of these things, no matter how small, are contributing to your self-care routine and contributing to your wellness it might seem insignificant but it's not and when you start like putting them into this like I use this app I put it into this app and I see how committed I am to myself through this app um, because if you look at it once a day at the end of day and you can't check off very much and they're such simple things and small things that really if we can't do that then we're not going to be able to do anything, basically. Um, I mean, obviously, you can put whatever you want in there, but I have very simple things in there because whenever I go back into self-care, I always like to ease in gently. I know that some people are, like, full-on, like, you know, <laughs> especially, like, the new year, you know, like, I'm going to go to the gym for four hours a week and eat, you know, a salad. Um but yeah, so for me, it's like the simple things that make me feel I'm really doing something for myself to contribute to my health and well-being. And yeah, who doesn't love a checklist? I love a checklist. Um, so I really love this app. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but other than that, it's really good. And then they have like courses in there. They have a journal. Um, but yeah, it's called Ulti Self. I'll put it in here. Um, so I've been using it for a while, but I, I do know sometimes, like, if I have, like, super busy weeks, like I had last week, um, I didn't um, do this, which is sad. But they also have a journal in there. So if you don't have a physical journal for these daily accountability sessions, they do have um, a little journal in here with, you can put your gratitude, you can put your most important task. Um, and I think there is also a place to, yeah, and then there's notes for the day as well. So you can actually use this app to do this daily accountability session as well. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. We've got to focus on self-care. This is my kind of thing right now, for sure. We're doing a lot of business stuff in virtual co-working space, but self-care is, is so, so important. Um, and you really can see the differences in yourself just by completing a few small things that are really, really important to you that make you feel good. And that that's so, so important um, on so many levels. Okay, so that's it for today. I'm going to now play our daily um, accountability session. Uh, the video is in the top left screen. I'm gonna turn off my video. And then we'll come back here for another little chat tomorrow. Thank you so much. And pens at the ready, journals at the ready. Let's get into today's daily accountability. Before we begin, don't forget you can join me live online inside virtual co-working space at www.virtualmissfriday.com forward slash VCS. If you enjoy this session, give it a like. I'd love to hear from you. So write me a comment. And so you don't miss any updates, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So now we're gonna look for the positive with our gratitude. First, we'll spend one minute thinking of the day before, thinking of all the things that happened, reflecting on work, interactions, relationships, memorable moments, and more. Now you'll write one thing down minimum that you're grateful for. 
you can of course write down more. Something good, something that went right, a small moment or a big win. The more you search for things to be grateful for, the more you will experience things to be grateful for. Now we're going to read out your goal. Make sure your goal is written down in a journal or somewhere you can easily access it. Read your goal now, ideally out loud, and commit to this goal. Believe it will happen. And by reading this daily, the universe knows clearly what your goal is and the things begin to shift in the direction of your goal. Follow your instincts when this happens by taking action. Now you need to see your goal in visualization. Spend this minute thinking about the goal in your mind. See yourself taking steps towards the goal or even better still, see yourself having already achieved the goal. Close your eyes and go there. Step into the feeling, step into the place, step into the accomplishment. And finally, it's time for your most important task. Set this task for today and make it relating to your goal. This could be something small like sending an email, recording a video or making a phone call, or it could be bigger. Either way, one task a day is one step forward and no steps will add up. Do what you can from where you are now. Set the intention and the action will carry you towards your goal. Well done you for completing your daily co-create session. Have a fantastic day ahead and I'll see you next time.